Okay, yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. I'm sorry about yesterday. I didn't give you people any feedback. I didn't give you guys any information. I was really, 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 like, really, really busy that I didn't even have time for my own self. But that's not a problem. We are here now. This is what you are going to do for today's class. For today's class, I'm going to teach you how to buy and sell. Now, when I mean buy and sell, just we know we have we haven't learned uh, our how to analyze the market but we'll be learning that very soon because I, i'm sure this will be the last week for this class so first of all how to buy and sell now you first have to choose as you can see i'm on a trade and i'm on profit i'm a trade and i'm on profit but this is not my main account this is a demo account like that is what you should use to practice always use demo account don't go and use life money until you have understand what you are doing on this demo account as you can see normally the demo account they are giving us is a uh, ten thousand dollars but you can see that six thousand dollars here that is because this is the demo account i'm using to practice whenever i have a new strategy or i have found i've learned something new in the market and i want to practice it this is the account I use. This is the account I use. That's why there are so much profit here. Okay. If you come to... Let us go back to what we came here for. Forget about this trade. Very soon, all of you can do this thing. Uh, so, how to buy and sell. First, for example, you will see all the instruments here. Now, once you have analyzed... Let me use this one that uh, I'm trading. For example, you click it. You click boom 300. Once you click it, this thing will pop up. You click chart. Once you click chart, it will take you here. Now, first of all, this is the interface of MT5. Now, I want to teach you how to trade with MT5. This is the interface of MT5. Already, you are already logging, but most of you don't know how to use it. Now, if you tap on your screen, this stuff is going to pop up. Here is your one minute time frame. Here is your five minute time frame. Here is your 15 minute time frame, which is the time frame I'm in right now. Here's your 30 minutes time frame. Here's your one hour, four hour daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. Then here is for indicators. If you want to add indicators to your chart, then here is this is something you can use to calculate pips, how many pips, and uh, just like that. So later I'll show you how to use this stuff. Then here is uh, your settings. If you want to set anything, then here is uh, if you want to get, if you want to draw on your chart, you want to do your technical analysis. Want to draw your trend line and uh, it's like that is what you will do next. I'll teach you guys about trend line. Yes, if you want to draw your trend line so you can know where to buy and sell from, you will click here. Once you click here, to take you here. These are uh, indicating showing that I've draw, I've draw a horizontal line on boom 500. I've draw a daily trend line in boom 500. So if you want to get access to this trend line, you just click this plus sign at the top. You see all the line, trend line, you see everything you need, whatever you want to draw on your chart. If you want to draw rectangle, triangle, whatever you want to draw on your chart. So you see everything here. That's for that. Then here is your chart. Now, how can you buy and sell? You have two ways to buy and sell. You can sell directly from your chart here, and you can sell from here too, from where all these things are showing. You can sell from here too, or you can sell directly from your chart. Below your screen, you will see quotes. Quotes. If you click quotes, it will take you here. If you click chart, it will take you to your chart. If you click trade, you are going to see the current trade you are trading. Now if you click history, you are going to see your history. As you can see, all this uh, loss you are seeing, I was practicing a new strategy. Yes, there was something I was working on on volatility 25 and jump 25. As you can see, to show you that it was something I was working on and I was testing it. And see, it's volatility 25 jump 25. It's 25 25. There was something I noticed, so I really had to test if, if it was working. That's the main reason I came to this demo account before I saw that trade. I was supposed to take that trade to my life account, self. but anyways. I'm here to teach you guys. So here, the history, you see your history of the trade you have traded for long. If you come here, if you come last week, you see the history of the trade you have traded last week. If you come here, you come last month, you see 
That means from today, from today to last month, I'm on sixteen thousand dollars profit. From today to last month, I'm on sixteen thousand dollars. If you come here, is the last history of your last three months, your last three months. So that's just it. That's just the message. Yeah, is just message that the platform there isn't to send you message, but that's not important. This is what is important here. Now, okay. Uh, if you want to buy and sell, let's say you have do your analysis. Forget about all this thing. This black line you are seeing on my charts are called trend line. So forget about them. We'll talk about them later. When I start teaching you trend line, we'll talk about them later. Now, if you want to sell, you click here. Okay, let me explain this side. This uh, stuff is what you use to calculate your pips. Let's say from here, you put it here, you hold it, then use your other finger to drag it from here. So let me just use this uh, inside eye. Now from here to this place is 98 pips. From here, from here to this place is 98 pips. 98 pips. That's how to calculate pips, how many pips, uh, just like that. Then here is for indicator. If you want to add indicator to your chart, then here is to choose time frame: one minute, five minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, one hour. Then here is to set order limits and to set order limits. Let's say if you want to buy the market, but you want the market to come to this place before you buy it. You want the market to come to this place before you buy it. This is what you are going to use other limits. Then, if you want to, if you want to set the market from this place, you have to click here. It will change. That one is called set stop. Set stop. If you want to set the market from this place, you click here. It will change. It will call set stop. Then, if you want to, if you want to, um, if you want to buy the market from this place, if say if the market go up and reach that price. The market should start buying then the market should put you in and it should start buying you to that is buy stop then if you want to sell the market from this place that the market go up and reach that place the market should start selling you will click here to change to sell limits that is sell limit so that's for that then concerning your entry how to buy and sell you see something here you see something here if you click it it will show if you want to buy you you are going to click buy if your analysis is telling you to buy, you are going to click buy. If you want to sell, if your analysis is telling you to sell, you are going to click sell. You are going to click sell. Then over here is where you can change your lot size. This is lot size. This is lot size. If you want to reduce it, you come here. But in Boom 300, the minimum lot size you can use to trade Boom 300 is one standard lot size, which means if the market move one pips in your favor, you are making one dollar. If the market move 10 pips in your favor, you are making $10. And the same thing, if the market move against you, one pip against you, you are losing $1. If the market move 10 pips against you, you are losing $10. The same thing applies. Then if you want to increase it, is there. Once you click here, you can see it. I told you about uh, uh, decimal lot size. You can see it's 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. You can increase it. Then here at the top, you can add. You can decide to add. 0 0.1 and add to you can add five at a time if you want that's so that's for it so if you want to buy you click here if your analysis is telling you to buy the market and everything i've set everything is ready for you to buy you click here you click here then if your analysis is telling you to sell the market everything is set everything is ready for you to sell you click here once you click here you start selling so i've, I've clicked it mistakenly and I've opened a very big lot size. You can see it. You can see it. I've, it was a mistake. I was not meant to enter from there, but it is what it is. Then another way you can buy again and sell is by coming here. Once you come here, if it's boom 300 you want to buy or you want to sell, you click it. You see new order, new order. You click new order. Once you click new order, it will take you here. You can reduce your this is your lot size. You can reduce your lot size here. You can reduce your lot size here. Here is where you add it. Then this market execution you see simply means let me explain all of them one by one. 
if you want to buy you click buy by market you will buy the market immediately. if you want to sell you click sell by market and you sell the market immediately then this market execution you are seeing here market execution it simply means you want to buy the market immediately you want to buy the market immediately that was it simply means then this buy limit it simply means you want to buy the market above a certain price like Abby, let me check. I don't want to. Let me just confirm what I'm saying. Okay, below. Okay, this buy limit you are saying simply means you want to buy the market below a certain price. Look at here, yeah, they're asking you price. They're asking you which price you want to buy the market. That means you are telling them that if this market fall and reach, uh, currently the market is at. One uh, one thousand seven oh six. I tell you then that if the market fall down and fall down and reach one thousand seven oh five, they should put you inside the market and they should take a trade for you. It's an order. You are telling your broker to take a trade for you at this price. They should start buying this market for you at this price. That is what buy limit means. Then sell limit is when you want to sell above the price. You want to sell above the price. For example, market is currently as one seven zero six. And you want to sell at uh, 1709. That means you are telling your broker that immediately markets go up, up, and reach 1709. Your broker should start selling for you with one standard lot. Your broker should start selling for you with one standard lot. Then, here are some for TP, take profits. Here is you will put after you have checked how many pips SL, if your stop loss, how many pips top loss you want to have you will come and put it here put the price here that means if price get to that place if for example you buy and the price started going down once the price go down to that amount that price you put here they should take you out of the trade and you you will lose that certain amount of money you agree to lose then for the tp is take profit you are telling them that if price if you buy for example this is a buy scenario. If you buy, for example, that time then if price has go up, go up to a certain extent, price have gone up to a certain amount of pips you want, they should close you at that certain price. They should close you at that price. Then, what again? Buy stop. Buy stop is when you want to buy above the current price. You want to buy above the current price. Let's say you do analysis. Your analysis is telling you to buy. Then you now set a buy stop order buy stop order that once the market get to your buy stop order once the market get to your price go up, go up and reach that your price reach that particular price at the top one market go up go up and reach that particular price at the top that your broker should start buying your broker should start buying which means once price go up and reach that amount of that certain price your broker will put you in the trade with the lot size you set and everything put in the trade and you start buying and the market will start buying for you so if the market starts coming down from there you'll be losing money but if the market continues going up from there you make a lot of money that's what buy stop means uh sell stop just means the opposite if you want to sell below the current price you want to sell below the current price for example if a um, price fall down fall down to the reach below the price that once price are fall to this level they should start selling for you so that's just it there's not too much things the market execution this is the one we are using the most this one simply means you want to buy now no 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 you want to buy now so that's just that's just everything you need to know that's how to buy how to sell with uh how to buy and sell with uh your mt4 your mt5 sorry so this is it for today tomorrow i'm going to see you guys so this is the class for today tomorrow i'm going to see you guys now this is what you do for me to show me you understand what i just teach you everybody open your mt5 buy once you buy screenshot it and send it to the group buy or sell either you buy or you sell anything just do even if you are in your loss or you are in your profit just buy or sell anything anything you want you'll buy and sell once you buy and sell send it to the group so this is it for now i'm going to see you guys later thank you